Hello and welcome to the another tips and workflow clip for this week. In this week, I am going to show you how do you go about and do the rendering of scene marks using Fusion 360. Yes, you heard it correctly. How to use Fusion 360 for the rendering of the sync marks. Probably you will be having a Autodesk Advisor Premium, Autodesk Advisor Ultimate, or a, any of the inside solution, standard premium, ultimate. And if you are in subscription, in active subscription, you would be having the access to the Fusion 360. If you are not installed the Fusion 360, reach out to our value added partner, uh, represented you, and they would help you to install the Fusion 360. Okay, let's get started. Probably, as I mentioned that you would be an advisor uh, solution or inside solution and when you're looking looking at the sync marks particularly this is the way you would be having a uh, results of sync marks in what into the magnitude form but if you go with this results to your manager or to the VP of the company or to your customers probably uh, it find it's very difficult to convince them what the, would be the intensity of these sync marks would look like uh, when the part is actually molded and for that, in Moleflow, we have result on the result called as a sigma shaded. And to an extent, it will try to do the, you know, show the depressions, but it's not that great rendering where you are re really able to see the uh, sigma effect onto the actual part. So what's the alternative way of doing that? Well, I'm into the advisor premium and into the results, and I can export, export these Sync mark estimate result for the defect visualization. Probably uh, look at the file name that you want to put it. Like in this case, I'm going to put the file name as an test sync mark 01 and save this file as an .fbx file. Okay. Uh, sorry, so I forgot to on the sync marks. Probably when you would have run the warpage, even you can do the warpage comparison. I'll try to show it into the next video when we will be doing the actual result comparison as well. So test syncmark.fbx and I on the syncmarks and I'm saving it. It's got saved. Then I'm back into the Fusion 360. Um, Fusion 360, uh, actually it's an web-based product, so you would need an internet uh, to upload the files and create your own directory and upload the file which i just created out of it uh, so it's in the download uh, you can upload that file and it's available in this case i have uploaded as a fill and sync and i open this file it, it comes this file as in this file format that is a bx file format probably you will able to see like two meshes one will be the original mesh and other will be a tessellated mesh probably you can just go ahead and delete the original mesh and keep the only the tessellated mesh the tessellated mesh would look like something shown in this case and you can start the rendering before i get started choose your material how do you go and choose the material is go into the physical materials and choose the material you need it. By default, it would be like a steel or something that gets a Fusion 360 assigned it. Um, just choose the material, like in this case, I had chosen this material as the plastic opaque black. Uh, I edited the color of it. You can also edit the color of it. Uh, edit and then, okay, probably yes, then you can edit it. advanced you can see the appearance and then you can change the color whatever you want choose upon that in this case I will just go with the the default one and I'll move on to the rendering in this case I change the color as red and you can start the rendering and there is two way to do the rendering one is with the canvas rendering and there is a lot of options uh, in the rendering as well. So please go ahead and explore those options available in the rendering, uh, like settings and uh, 
uh, which type of you know environment you want to have it like in this case uh, you can have a multiple environments to choose upon in fusion 360 library like the photo booth or you want to put the external environment you can choose upon the environment whatever you want to go put it well in this case i have gone ahead with the photo booth and i ch chosen the color as the right and as i told you there is two ways of rendering one is the canvas rendering and other is the uh, detail rendering for digital rendering you may need to have a cloud credit access or cloud credit in your credit uh, in your account so that you can use it much detail but i'll show you how do we go about do a canvas rendering map the way you want to have a look at the your part like in this case you can see the sing marks over here yeah and same is on the top of this surface it lot depends upon the like type of material you are chosen whether it's a matte glossy or some like in this case if i go back and choose the material in uh choose the material as the physical material as steel let's go and assign this still it look to it looks all together very different oh go into the sorry render yeah sorry i think i chose on the steel but in the color is uh, red you can see the sing marks over here well they are not visually properly visualized but you can render it and see that how this would look like so i'll keep it very you know to directly to the uh to the source of light and i'll start the rendering and so there is a in re rendering also it depend upon the quality uh, it's canvas will all together happen on local uh, computer and then you can do it to the excellent final or infinite so you are try uh, it all depend upon your hardware and fusion 360 would be needed for it uh for for as the installation and then you can start the rendering for for rendering you don't need an any cloud credit so to save the time how this renders looks like for this component i'll show it to you uh this hot the pictures we have got from the customer you can see the actual part is been molded this looks like is and the after rendering is pretty much very close to the what the sing mark uh, intensity would look like <laughs> so thank you for your time and i hope uh, this uh, video was helpful and you will start using fusion 360 for the rendering as i mentioned it is useful for the both for the advisor as well as for the insight try out at your own thank you for your time